Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the Raptor Territory Free Room for LEGO Jurassic World. We're going to get a handful of collectibles, as you can see on the right-hand side. We're also going to get a couple of characters scattered throughout the area. And we do require that you have completed the story and free play. This is uh, there so that you guys will have everything you need along the way and you won't find yourself backtracking and having to go back and forth. There's a lot of issues and uh, we're trying to help avoid those. So. As you can see, right up to the northwest of the visitor center there, there's a little bit of a road, a little detour, as you can see. We're going to take and run our way back, and eventually we'll find a little path off to the right that kind of fades off into gravel and then dirt and grass, and it gets a lot darker, and eventually we find a dino dung pile. So go ahead and pull out your favorite dino dung diver, and we'll go ahead and find the key to this area inside the pile. So we went ahead and chose Owen, and he's going to get in there. It looks like he's got everything, including the kitchen sink and the key for the lock here. So we'll go ahead, and this threw me for a loop here. You actually have to spin your analog stick in order to twist the key and open it. So once we get inside, though, we find a handful of things. Right off the bat, we notice that there is a charge panel above a door, but we'll get to that in a hot second. We'll just turn on the kiosk first and see what we got here. We got a couple of gold bricks. Looks like a couple of workers in peril and, ooh, even a ray. So we'll go ahead and take on the first worker in peril over to the left. And it's right below that blue electric panel that we discussed a second ago. We'll go ahead and pull out a character with a crowbar ability like Nick Van Owen. Go ahead and spam that button until that door pops open and Buddy comes out. Woohoo! He's going to turn that frown upside down. You know what I mean? He dances a little jig. And we go ahead and make our way. Oh, wait, wait for it. Wait for it where it's taking forever. But there we finally get the worker in peril credit and a gold brick. Woohoo! So. Sometimes you'll see that the gold brick totals do not match the amount of gold bricks that are found in this. That's because some of these items actually give you a gold brick, like a photographic moment gives you a gold brick, as well as saving a dino and a worker in peril. But uh, that being said, use a little guy to go through the mini door on the left-hand side, right below where we freed that worker in peril, and jump up and ride the zip line down for that gold brick. Now let's go ahead and take care of these electric panels. There's one on either side of the cage. And each time you shoot one, it gives you a short little cinematic view there of the lights dropping down and getting ready to kick on. Once they are all turned on, and that means both sides left and right have been shot, it'll actually cue up this box with a grapple hook on it. Now, at first, I was a little frustrated because I was like, uh-oh, I can't get it. But if you move your way down through the pad and get a little closer to the actual box itself, it should give you the icon. And uh, we used Barry because he actually has a grapple and the old electric shock. So he grapples that gold brick right onto us. We grab it and we're going to go ahead and take a uh, Gander at Dino Handler Vic real quick and add him to our character list. So there's a few you can see that still have the locks on them. We're going to be grabbing those guys as we go through the areas. Hopefully we haven't missed any yet and uh, we don't plan on doing that in the future. So. And we'll make our way all the way down. Now we've got uh, a little bit of a hazy, glittery, glowy essence up in the air here right before dropping down. We're going to switch to Claire and use her beep, boop, beep, boop, her scanner to go ahead and open the door. Oh no, it's a crack in the wall. we got to go ahead and find a dino with a hard enough head to smash on through it. So we'll call on Packy. We'll smash that with Packy. And the gold brick pukes out. And we grab it and add it to our collection. So... Just like that, we are getting closer and closer to that 100 brick milestone. And uh, that being said, go ahead and drop down to the lower area so we can add another one to our list. This next one's pretty easy on the right-hand side or left-hand side, depending on which way you are looking. There is a raptor pounce point at the end of a shipping container. Go ahead and use the raptor to pounce up there. And, oh, no, it's a bunch of compies. Uh, ankle biters everywhere. So go ahead and... I didn't I didn't have any problem with the Raptors. You can see I pressed the attack button about six times and all of a sudden a gold brick was rewarded for my effort. So next there's a race right here. We're gonna go ahead and use the Raptor because you actually need to in order to uh, pounce this little part and get up top here. So uh, the, it's pretty standard race. There are a handful of ups and downs and lefts and rights, but uh, eventually once you come through and make like 17 laps, you will get a gold brick for this now. I have found that they do give you a little bit extra time, more so than probably needed, but they also give you like a thousand checkpoints. 
some of these races, I think, uh, have been dumbed down as far as easiness goes. Because, like, Marvel, there was a few hard races in Marvel. And I think they just made them a little bit easier, but they made them longer to kind of make up for it. So we got a gold brick, which actually represents the one floating kind of transparent behind us there. We got half halfway floating brick in the bag there. But we're not going to worry about that. We just got rewarded with that. And off to the right-hand side, or left again, depending on which way you're looking, there is a uh, photographic moment, but it's not a real photograph. It's actually a worker in peril. So we'll take a picture and scare the old raptor off and get that credit for the worker as well as a gold brick. And as soon as he jumps out from that, we free him. It actually turns out to be Ray Arnold, the second character available in this area for purchase. So we'll go ahead and pay him some money and add him to our list. And guess what, ladies and gents? We're going to go ahead and go to the kiosk right quick and check it out, check it, check it out one last time. But uh, that's actually going to do it. I don't mean to spoil it for you. But look, no more icons of anything out here. And that's going to wrap it up for Lego Jurassic World Raptor Territory Free Room, where we grabbed all the collectibles and even got a couple of characters in the area. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and maybe mildly entertaining. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, we uh, advise you to head on over to our social pages, which can be found on places like Facebook, Twitter, or you can simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. And uh, we encourage you to press that like button as well as that subscribe button. So it helps us out tremendously. So anyways, we also have happythumbsgaming.com, Twitch, Instagram, and G+. All these links can be found down below as well as links to our trophy achievement guide for LEGO Jurassic World and our playlist with all the videos. So as for me, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. Until next time. Free room! Oh, yeah! See?